Hey everybody, this is Dim, and today we're going to be doing my first mod review. This time we're going to be doing the Sentinel M16 clone. The reason why I chose to do this mod first is because it's probably going to be the cheapest mod that you will ever buy, whether it be in a brick and mortar or online uh, at a retailer. This is an extremely cheap mod. Now, I got mine from a local brick and mortar store. Uh, however, you can get one almost identical to the one I have from fast tech for ready ten dollars and fifty cents <laughs> not kidding ten dollars and fifty cents ship will get you the uh sentinel m16 almost identical and i'll explain the differences up close but <laughs> it's the cheapest mod that you will ever ever buy but is it worth it so first uh i just want to show you what it is it is a telescoping mod with aluminum and brass there's no stainless steel so it does not have the stainless and it will telescope from 18350 to 18650 and I'll go ahead and show you what they look like in both configurations now without further ado I think it would be best if we just go ahead and take a look at this thing up close all right guys so here's the M16 clone up close we'll go ahead and take it apart so you can take a look and see what it looks like so first we'll go ahead and take a look at the top cap which as you can see here has a floating center pin. You go ahead and just simply snap it down with a bit of force. And when you screw on an atomizer, it'll pull it out from there. It does have a nice little drip well if you're using a standard atomizer and you don't want to worry about any sort of leaking or dripping. And then you have your two aluminum tubes along with the brass tube here. Go ahead and unscrew those. So you have your, your top tube your bottom tube, which both obviously thread onto the brass tube here. And then you have your firing mechanism right here, which is an O-ring with a unscrewed to lock it or unlock the firing mechanism. And everything is nice and smooth. And I'll go ahead and show you what the screw looks like for the firing mechanism. And you just simply put your finger in the screw hole or if you have the fast tech clone uh, which doesn't have the screw hole you just put your finger on top of it so you have a your fire pin again the fast tech one is clear or up uh, clear is brass you have your firing spring and you have your firing activator okay so to break down all the parts here we go you have your firing base you have your firing pin you have your spring your copper tube that joins the two tubes together for telescoping. You have your bottom and your top, I'm sorry, yep, you have your bottom and your top tube, which will telescope onto the copper, or I'm, I'm sorry, onto the brass for size adjustment. And you have your standard 510 uh, connector with a floating pin, which is nice for the battery uh, rattle prevention, because then all you have to do is use the two tubes uh, to adjust the bottom fire pin for rattle as opposed to having to fidget with the top and the bottom as well for rattle so this is it up close and as you can see it is nice and basic and looks pretty nice the finish is very 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 good it is lightweight as you can hear it kind of clasping around because it is aluminum but there you go there's your m17 up close let's go ahead and pop back up for the review thanks guys all right welcome back so now that you've seen what it looks like, let's go ahead and address the very first big con for the device. And that is the screw that holds the firing pin or the version from Fastech. The difference between the one and Fastech is this has like a silver plated screw. The Fastech one is a brass screw. However, they're both impacted by the same issue based on uh, feedback on the discussion forums. And what the issue is, is when you push this, the firing button, if you notice, the screw will start to turn in a direction to loosening loosening up the, the screw. And what that can do is it can actually loosen your fire button, and if you're not paying attention, it could actually fall out. Now, I didn't want to fix it for the sake of the review, however, it is an easy fix. You take the firing pin out, and what you do is you smush the threads, uh, about the third thread down, uh, or from the top of the firing pin screwing mechanism, that'll actually stop the thread uh, and give it enough resistance that it will not loosen itself. So when you get this, first thing you want to do is uh, crimp the third and fourth uh, threaded part of the nut and 
make it tighter. That way you don't have the issue of the screw wanting to loosen itself. As you can see, it's already coming out higher than what I, I had it when I first started doing it quite a bit. That's the biggest con. Other than that, guys, now keep in mind, this is for a review of a mod that online costs under $11. And for a brick and mortar, I would say you would probably be paying no less than or no more than, say, 30 bucks, 30, 35 dollars, depending on how expensive the BM store is marking it up. But by far the cheapest mod. Uh, to put it in perspective, Nemesis aluminum mods cost about $15 and change on fast tech. So you're talking about a 50% price increase from the M16 to the Nemesis aluminums. So that's what you're basing this comparison on. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and show you what it looks like in 18350 mode. So I'll go ahead and drop in a fresh 18350. Now, I don't recommend vaping on these because I don't really like uh, vaping uh, mechanicals with 18350s or sub-ohm builds, I should say. But So you just kind of screw both tubes together. And again, this will fit an 18650 or an 18350 or 18500 or an 18500 with a kick. But again, you have to kind of finesse the kick in there because uh, it's a really tight fit. But, you ready to see what it looks like with an 18350 in it? <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's really, really, really tiny, nice little package. So, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like uh, firing up with the magma. Go ahead and screw the Again, we have the floating pin here, so give it some room. And I'll screw the magma down to extend the floating pin and then you just slowly kiss it up I, like with any mechanical you don't want to make it too tight I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the firing button and uh, give it a quick vape hand check <laughs> this is a tiny tiny mod now uh, this is a 0.8 ohm build, so it's only about 6 amp pull, 5 point something, with a 4.2 volt battery. So it's fine for the with the 18350, So I, and I don't really prefer vaping this way. However, a lot of people do, and it's a really tiny package. Now, uh, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like with an 18650 in it. Alright, so here it is in 18650 mode. Uh, certainly no juggernaut by any means, hand check. It's still pretty small. Um, the height actually goes directly proportionate with the height of the battery change, so that's why you're not getting that much of a bigger uh, tube, because that is the benefit of the telescoping mod. You're not adding a, any extra bloat than what you had with the 350 or the 650 mod, so it is a nice hand package. Let's go see how it vapes real quick. Mm, mm, mm. 650, 1860s are so much better than 350s. So, again, there's nothing spectacular about this build. It's just a 0.8 ohm coil, and I took a nice short drag. Uh, so, overall review of the device, would I recommend it? Absolutely. Based on price. There are more refined mods, and I do prefer stainless steel over aluminum because as smooth as the threads are, uh, it is aluminum, so you do, it is a softer metal than stainless steel. There's no other way around that. Um, so you do have to be careful when you thread it to make sure that you don't cross thread it because the threads can essentially break themselves. But as you can hear here, the, the threading on these are just, it's just really, really, really smooth. I'll take the battery out so you can hear a little bit more. It is really nice, really smooth. And for the price, it's really well constructed. Like I said, it is aluminum, but it gives you the full range of 18350 to 18650, and it's in a nice little package. The fire button is a con. Uh, you do need to fix that. However, it's a relatively easy fix, or even if you don't fix it. I've actually been vaping this for a while for the sake of uh, getting used to it with the, for the review. Um, and, you know, you just take it off and give it a quick spin, have it lined up like that, and then simply turn it back on, and you're ready to go again. 
But yeah, it is a really good mod for the price. Uh, the difference between the Fast Tech one and the one that I have in my hand is these are silver plated contacts. Theirs are just pure brass. Uh, but it will give you just a similar amount of hit, uh, or, uh, voltage drop. And there's really not much. This hits harder than my Chi clone. So, uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. And for the price, you can't beat it. I'll put a link in the description down below for the Fast Tech one if you want to check it out. Or go ahead and look at any of your local brick and mortar stores. This is a pretty popular one because of price. And the price to performance ratio is really, really high on this. So I certainly recommend the Sentinel M16. Go ahead and tighten it back up so you can see it. And it's a great little cheap mod. Great for a first starter. I would take this as a starter mod over the Nemesis any day of the week for the price. The button is not crunchy. As you can hear it here. From any angle I hit it from, it does not get crunchy like the Nemesis ones often do. And without magnets, because this is simply spring-loaded, as you saw uh, in the up close, you can rest this with an 18650 and a K-Fun 3.1, and it will not fire the button. Uh, it's obviously not recessed, and it'll you know it, it's going to be kind of off kilter, but it will not fire. It's a strong button, and it's nice and clicky too, as you can hear it. So. I highly recommend this mod. Check it out. Link in the description. Sentinel M16. This is Dim. If you liked the video, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Also, like and comment below. Or you could follow me on Twitter at DimDoes or Instagram slash DimDoes. I'm super interactive. I love hearing from you guys. And there's definitely going to be more videos coming. So I really look forward to hearing from you. And the only way this channel can grow is because of you guys. And so far, the traffic's been good. It's been growing nicely. So I appreciate that. And let's keep it growing. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, guys, so Sentinel M16, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.